Hiya Mark, great to see you again yesterday out on the range and do a little bit more work on your, on your swing. Bit of a revelation really, here we have on the left a guy who's trying to swing the club more upright but unfortunately isn't getting the job done because his understanding of the turn in the golf swing is slightly incorrect. We can see there as you make your back swing, your shoulders are turning very flat despite you being tilted forward. So what we suggested was, or the reference point that we used, was you need to turn your shoulders at 90 degrees to the spine tilt that you've got at address. So we can see here, we've got the spine tilted at address, shoulders tilted forward. Now on the way back with yourself, that left shoulder works high and the right shoulder works right. And you can see now, shoulders very flat, no longer at 90 degrees to the angle of your spine. And as a result, when we get to the top of the backswing, we're very flat and the club face appears to be shut. What we see here with Grant Way is a shoulder turn that's much more at 90 degrees to the tilt forward he has at address. You can see the left shoulder and right shoulder staying at right angles to the spine. And as a result, even though his arm swing and shoulder plane are complementing one another, it's a totally different looking top of the back swing position. So the thing he's done differently there is he's got his left shoulder to work down as he starts the club back, which starts to keep the shoulders on the tilted plane. So you're turning your shoulders in a circle on a tilted plane. What we see with yourself is a left shoulder that works very level. So even though you're tilted forward, you're going to try and turn your shoulders very level. And whenever you do that, you're going to achieve a very flat top of the backswing position. So what we see here now in the centering screen was you working on a few of your rehearsals where you're trying to get the left shoulder to work down, trying to get the shoulders to turn more in sympathy with the angle of your spine. So there's your spine, there's a the line that's at 90 degrees to the spine angle and we're going to try and get the shoulders to turn on that angle. Now we don't do it 100% but we make a much better job of it than we did and as a result at the top of the backswing we're a little bit more upright and we've got the club face in a more neutral position. From there we can start to work the body differently on the way down. We require fewer compensations and we now have a much better understanding of how to get the club on plane. Very difficult to do if you're turning your shoulders so flat because it's all done with the arms. Ideally what we want is we want what we see here with grab weight where the arms and the body are working together but the following the angle of the spine so you've got to get your left shoulder working down initially left shoulder down left shoulder down as opposed to what we see here left shoulder across left shoulder across a little bit more downward in that left shoulder produces a much more neutral takeaway much better halfway back position and certainly an improved top of the backswing position. Stick at it and I look forward to working with you again in a few weeks time. Well